coming upstairs to change. I'm actually wearing my glasses because my eyes are a little bit sore. So that's why I'm wearing my glasses. I'm coming upstairs to change. I just wanted to show you. Uh, can I show you? <laughs> I just wanted to show you what dress I am wearing. I think you guys might remember these dresses from Superbalist. So I went to Woolies literally dressed like this with my slippers and my Nana secret socks. There I am wearing socks um, because it is quite cold. So I'm going to change now into something very comfortable because it is self care Sunday. And um, oh, this dress is a tad dirty. It is self care Sunday, so I'm going to change now into something slightly more comfortable and then possibly do a mask relax unwind do the most yeah let's do that okay um much better much lighter i'm in comfortable clothing <laughs> home clothing um and i'm about to put something on my face I'm gonna relax if you can hear a little bit of going on, my plants are taking a little bit of a bath. You wanna see? Getting louder and louder. There you go. Babies are taking a little bit of a bath. I love it. I love okay, so we're in my bathroom. <laughs> I've balanced you guys, meaning the camera. I've balanced the camera on top of one of my candles. And I'm really hoping for the best. I've just applied on some Comex to my lips. I'm um, not going to take my earrings off because I find myself... I find like I look really, really weird if I take my earrings off. <laughs> so because I've got a bit of product on my face right now, obviously the creamed the moisturizers and all of that i'm just wiping my face clean all right i have got some sheet masks here i've got the garnier moisture bomb tissue mask and this is the green one the super hydrating rebalancing mask intensely hydrates yes uh helps mattify the skin pores appear less visible i really like this i really like how this sounds because um, hydrating skin, yes, it's a standard for me in the winter time. And then we've got some simple ones here. There are other ones that are in the back there, but I'm just too lazy. We've got some simple ones here and we've got the Nivea Q10 Power one. This is the um, anti-wrinkle, not really. De-stress, hydrating. Okay, the option is hydrating. Mm. Ooh, smells very aloe-ish. Is there aloe in here? Oh, green tea. Mm. Okay, that's the mask. That's what it looks like. Very, very <laughs> wet. We got it. So the blue foam is outwards. Ooh, this is cold. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, this is cold. Okay, and then I need to remove the blue, which is so weird. Okay, I'm removing the blue foam. Oh, there it goes. I mean, I think, why, why all that exercise? Just, why, why put in the blue foam? What's in the blue foam? I don't, I don't get it. Okay, then adjust the mask. Here. I look great. I look fantastic. I look so good. I look so good. Have you ever seen... Listen. <laughs> Have you ever seen anyone look this good? Come on. Come on. This is fantastic. This is something out of <laughs> Freddy vs. Jason. So cool. So cool. Um, uh, right now, I've got some laundry to fold. So that's something that I do normally on a Sunday. So I'm going to do that right now. It's 
actually pretty much dried. It's dried. I'm going to see if there's a little bit of product in the thing. If there is, yes, there's quite a lot more product. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put it all in there. And, of course, ruin my nails in the process. <coughs> and, yeah, I'm going to pretty much put it all in there. And then put it in the fridge because there is still quite some product in there. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to just apply some extra product onto my skin. And I'm going to go in with the Nivea products. Um, this Q10 Youth Boost is amazing. I, I normally typically just go three drops of this onto... Uh, ruined another nail. This Youth Booster is amazing, so I'm just gonna press that in. Also, very good for hydration, which is great. Trying to have my skin shine, look wonderful. Great. My moisturizer, Ooh, my goodness. My moisturizer is normally the Clinique one, but today, I am going to go in with the Nivea one. They also sent me this one. This is the um, Q10 Power Pore Refining. Yes, because we use the Pore Refining, pore, we use the Pore Reduction uh, Mask and we then used a oil booster, which is great in hydration. And now we are applying a Pore Refining Day Cream. Am I happy about that? Yes. Does it smell amazing? Absolutely. So, I'm going to just apply that on there. Oh, my skin feels so smooth. We love her. <laughs> so, I'm just looking in the mirror. Look at that. Oh, the girl, she's glowing. Um, my eye cream, which I absolutely love. This is the Eucerin anti-wrinkle eye cream which I just below the eye great at giving volume and reducing dark marks dark circles really really good eye cream this one oh lastly of course it is still quite early on in the day and sometimes I sit in the sunroom and a lot of sun comes in through there so yes SPF how do I look? Do I look good? Am I shining? Am I glistening to the gods? I love it. I love it. Very good. It's a different day, lots going on. Um, just came from the shops, lots to talk to you guys about. It's literally five days later since the last footage that you saw. And in that five days, I have been going through a whirlwind of emotions. Let me just say my mental health took a really hard ass knock this week. Um, I was not having it. I was not as productive as I normally am. Ugh, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. But first, let's do what you guys love from me, which is normally the same stuff. But hey, we're going to do a little bit of a grocery haul. Bing, 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 bing. Yay. From Woolworths, I picked up. I poked myself in the eye. I genuinely did. From Woolworths, I picked up my loved spinach, of which... I am going to make a smoothie today. I haven't had one in two days. I haven't been home in two days, so I guess that makes sense. But honest, because I'm a fan. Um, yogurt, this very same yogurt that I normally buy just in the smaller sachets, which I think is much better as opposed to the one big one. Um, mushrooms, because I'm a really on a mushroom kick lately. Since lockdown, since lockdown, mushrooms and I, so, so same what's up here. Um, of course, what are those things? I just said, of course, what are they? Uh, uh, avocados, <laughs> two 
packs of these, which I think the other pack is in the other uh, bag. Two packs of lemons, pears. I really enjoy these uh, Forel, crunchy and juicy Forel pears. I really, really enjoy these. And I only pick up four because D1, D1. One man landing um, peanut butter because <laughs> when I went to go visit the other day, I'm sure you all know who I went to go visit. When I went to go visit, I called and I asked, Do you have peanut butter in the house? Because I really like peanut butter. Do you have peanut butter in the house for when I'm drinking my coffee and peanut butter? And he said, No, I don't. And I was like, Well, you're stupid. So I took my peanut butter from my place there and now I had to replenish because I left that one there. But it's fine, it's not a big deal. Um, these salads are bang from Woolies, the Mediterranean chickpea salad. I normally buy the smaller versions, I don't buy the big ones. And the sweet curry pasta salad, so so good. Don't ever say I didn't put you on. I really love these when I'm having um a light meal throughout the day. Maybe like for lunch, I'll have a piece of meat with a salad, normally one of these. Um, and the my favorite one is this one. This is the four smoky four bean salad. It is so good. This one I sometimes can have with just like quinoa or what have you because the beans and the protein, it's a thing, it's a thing. And then last of the fruits, I picked up a papaya and berry mixed fruit medley, which is really, really good. I really, really love these bags from Woolies. So, so love them. This is the Joburg one, which is so nice. And the other one that I just picked up today is the Cape Town one. Aren't these cute though? I forgot the noodles from Spa. Okay, doesn't matter. Kitchen towels because... Kitchen towels. You know I have kitchen towels in the kitchen. So, extra bag of spinach. Also from Woolies. These are all from Woolies. Um, cost... Hot, traditional... Hot cross buns. These are so good. Also love these. Just one of these like as a snack with a cup of coffee throughout the day. Really nice. Even when I want that little sugar kick. Really nice. Um, of course, repurchase jungle oats. Of course, repurchase uh, breakfast muesli. Of course. And the second pack of the uh, lemons and my most exciting pickup from Woolies which I haven't had in a long time. These are treated pitted green olives with peppers, garlic, and basil. Oh my God. I mean, what do you mean? I'm so excited. Can we taste one together? I'm actually salivating because, wow, see, wow, see, see. Look at them. Ooh, woo, it's gonna be a good weekend. If we can't splurge on alcohol, we're gonna treat ourselves to good food, okay? Oh. Mm. I drove from the Woolies and went to the spa. There's a certain things that I like from the spa that the Woolies doesn't have. And my spa, my particular spa where I live, the bakery section is fantastic. Oh man, they bake some great bread. You know, ciabatta. I picked up this ciabatta bread today. I, 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 I'm not even going to finish this. But my sister's coming over later, so I'll give her one. Um, they bake great stuff. Everything. And then something that I also like as snacks are these jungle oats, jungle oats, these jungle snack mixes from the jungle brand, but these are the jungle snack mixes. Uh, picked up, I really like these. Also as a snack throughout the day, um, if I'm feeling peckish, really, really good, healthier alternative. Um, uh, this is a sunrise scramble, sunrise scramble. They're really good. They're actually quite good. I highly recommend these. Um, if you want a snack, but you want a snack healthy. And then this is the Cranberry Fusion, which is my favorite one. I picked up two of the Cranberry Fusion. Really, really good. And then what I'm trying today is the Snack Mix Optimal Tropical. Delicious snack mi mix infused with papaya. Love papaya. Uh, pineapple and coconut. So this is... So I just picked up four of them. And my spa also has an espresso and Starbucks section, which is fantastic. So I topped up on my Nespresso pods. And this time I picked up, I needed something a little bit stronger. So I picked up Fortisio Lungo, which is a level eight. 
on the Nespresso bar of uh, intensity and my normal one which is a nice coffee for a nice day for a basic day and this is the uh inspiraziano i'm lying <laughs> inspirazione livianto livanto there we go there we go white cheddar cheese which is my favorite this is my favorite just everyday cheese if i feel like having a cheese sandwich or whatever really really good uh picked up some cherries as well cherries from woolies go for about 60 bucks these go for about 35. oh your pricing say picked up an extra honey because hello snacker snack bar <laughs> And my actually my snacker drawer, my snack drawer is is looking kind of sad. Like I need to <laughs> pick it up and revive it a little bit because there's nothing. Like things are going in that snack drawer. So yeah, I'll show you what I mean. And then I picked up some scallions or spring onions. Love them. Add them to everything. everything. All right, let me pack this away. There's a lot going on here. And then I'll touch base with you a little bit later. So these are the bags that I wanted to show you from Woolies. Um, it's made from recycled plastic, both of them. So this one is the one that I picked up today. This is the Cape Town one. I still feel like the Joe Rogan one looks better. <laughs> um, Cape Town, you try it, but it ain't that deep. Joe Berg, okay. Uh, but they're really, really, really nice. I mean, look at those. Hey, hey. I love carrying these. I just, I feel so bougie when I'm carrying, when I'm carrying one of these going into the woolly store. But yeah, they're so, so cute. I wanted to recommend them because made from recycled plastic. I mean, come on. And buying plastic, I'm trying to wean myself away from buying plastic, but it's hard. It's hard. And I can't do it all the time because sometimes I forget these at home. But these are high. So it is a couple of hours later, maybe two, not that much um since i showed you the grocery haul and i said i was gonna sit down with you to end off this vlog okay i thought i was hearing something and i said i was gonna sit down with you guys to end off this vlog it is quite sunny outside but quite chilly hence why i'm wearing a sweater um but yeah this week wasn't really great on the mental health side uh, my mental health took a really, really chunka chunka knock this week. Um, I felt very, very tired most of the time. I felt very, um, I just felt like I didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't want to do any of it. I didn't want to YouTube. I didn't want to, I, I put up the content because I'm, I'm the master of pre-recording things. So there's always something ready to go. But this week, I just felt like, I'm trying to catch my breath because I just ran down the stairs. Ran up and then ran back down uh, to get something. But, um, as I was saying, I was just feeling quite done with it. Feeling quite tired, feeling quite, uh, just, oh man, I'm pushing out so much content and I just feel like, I, d I just don't even know if it, any of it is worth it anymore. Um, and it sucks. I hate speaking like this because I try to be as optimistic as possible and I try to be as um, confident and I have a very bright outlook on things and um, I am one who feels like you put in the work and the rewards will, will come. Um, and they are coming. It's just that they're coming really slowly. And I feel like I've been in this game for a while. <laughs> um, so I just ended up feeling quite despondent when it came to YouTube. Uh, when it came to other things, I just felt tired. Literally. Like, literally just tired. I felt exhausted. Um, I just didn't want to handle any of it anymore. I wanted to get out of the house. I've been away from the house for about three days now. So it's only today that I'm back in the house. Um, I started feeling a lot of cabin fever. I needed to get out of the space. It just wasn't doing it for me. I needed something different. I needed to go somewhere and see people. And um, I needed that. Man, I needed that. 
Uh, I'm feeling much better today, but I was feeling crap pretty much the whole week. I was feeling like shit. Um, and because I was feeling like shit, I, this was the week that I was supposed to start reading again. It is officially Friday and I have not started reading. I could not put, I, I just could not bring myself to read. Um, it is Friday today. I do feel like reading. So the book that I am going to start today is this one, which I was looking very much forward to starting. Um, I am going to be doing, oi, I'm also going to, I can't even talk. I'm also going to be doing a book club with, um, some JK fan peeps on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram to be part of that book club. Um, and I'm going to be doing an Insta live tomorrow where we're going to be talking about the book club and we're going to be talking about, uh, what book we should all start reading, what, um, genre would be best and all of that. So I need to set up some notes for that Insta live tomorrow. But for myself, personal reading wise, definitely want to start with this. It is a thriller and apparently it's quite bizarre. The whole idea of this part of the vlog was to just pretty much... I don't know if I'm in the right frame of mind to actually give some words of wisdom or words of encouragement right now because I don't... There's kids playing right outside my door. <laughs> Uh, because I don't feel encouraged and I don't feel optimistic and I don't want my giving you words of encouragement to come from a, what the word is, I don't want them to come from a place where they actually just don't exist. Those words don't exist in my space right now because I don't feel encouraged. I don't feel um extremely positive i know i will be fine in the next couple of days i pretty much just maybe needed some time off i've got a smoothie in my head i pretty much needed some time off and whatever that's probably something that i really did need and i wasn't just i wasn't aware of i feel tired a lot of the time i am worried i am concerned um, for my family, for friends. I've heard a lot of bad news surrounding people that I care about, people I um, know of who have lost family members, people who are, um, who have family members in the hospital. Um, I have family members who aren't feeling well right now, um, family members that I'm very concerned about right now. And I just... I just wanted to come on here to let you know that you I <laughs> you can't be happy every day. You can't be happy go lucky every day and cheer be and cheerful and I'm not one of those people. There are days where I just like today where I just feel I feel better than I did the last couple of days, but I just still feel like shit really. And um I feel way down and I feel tired and I feel like on days like this I just need to afford myself that space my voice is breaking because I want I, I, I the tears they want to and I will not I will not allow them this is where I'm gonna end off this vlog it is Friday and I'm thanking the Lord that it's Friday I hope you guys are keeping well and keeping safe wherever you are it's tough it's rough in the world right now um, we're losing friends, mothers, brothers, sisters, uncles, um, fathers. It's just, it's not a good time in the world right now. And we are hoping that the storm will pass at some point because, wow, the storm just needs to go, you know? I picked up... <laughs> I don't know if I've already spoken about these books, but I've picked up two new books. I think I did speak about these books. I remember doing this with these books. Um, oh my gosh. I think I did speak about these books, so I'm not going to speak about them. But I picked this one up. This is Queenie. Can you see that? That cover is awesome. Okay. This is Queenie by uh, Candace Carty Williams. And the one that I'm most excited to read is this one. This is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. And I cannot wait 
wait wait wait um but yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in the next video my camera is actually flashing at me so i'll see you in the next one